Surveillance is a critical part of every immunization program. It helps guide disease control activities by detecting cases, detecting and confirming outbreaks, identifying high-risk groups, and monitoring the impact of immunization services. The type of surveillance you use for specific disease depends on the objectives of your disease control program and is ultimately determined by national policy. As a district or subnational manager, it is important that you know the difference between the three main types of surveillance methods, since each one requires different staff, procedures, and resources. The three main types of surveillance methods are passive, sentinel site, and active. With passive surveillance, data is routinely collected and forwarded to the next higher level. For example, every facility is required to send a monthly and sometimes weekly report of disease data to the district level. This is the most common method used to detect, report and monitor vaccine-preventable diseases. Passive surveillance is less expensive than more active methods and it can cover wide areas. However, since monthly reports are submitted by local staff, it can be difficult to ensure reports are timely and complete. It also requires extensive clinical and laboratory resources. With Sentinel site surveillance, only carefully selected sites report data on a disease. This method is used when high-quality data are needed about a particular disease that cannot be collected through passive surveillance. Sites are selected if they have a high probability of seeing cases of the disease and have good lab facilities and well-qualified staff such as large hospitals. Sentinel surveillance is faster and less expensive than passive surveillance. It is also easier to manage and collect data on individual patients. However, Sentinel surveillance also has a more limited reach, so it may not be as effective at detecting rare diseases or outbreaks that occur across a large area. With active surveillance, designated surveillance staff search for additional suspected cases of a disease in communities that are at risk. The surveillance staff will visit health facilities, including hospitals, to talk with healthcare providers, review medical records, and review registers for both out- and inpatient registers. Active surveillance is used to detect outbreaks and unreported cases. It is particularly useful when your surveillance objective is to eradicate or eliminate a disease since every possible case must be found and investigated. With active surveillance, case detection is more timely and accurate than with passive or sentinel site. It can also help quickly detect outbreaks. And active surveillance can be used to represent the whole country. However, active surveillance is also time-consuming, difficult to set up, and expensive. In the case of an outbreak, the national level will appoint surveillance staff to carry out active surveillance activities. You should now have an understanding of the three main types of surveillance, passive, sentinel site, and active.